let's talk about the the agency itself. What is okay. Abilities Unlimited, and what do you all do on a daily basis? We work with people with disabilities, and uh, we do that in a variety of ways. One of the ways is in our facility at Kibler Road, uh, where we work with uh, with clients. Uh, the individuals come to our program. We teach life skills such as communication, cooking, budgeting, laundry services, um, socialization, uh, finance, and numbers. You know how do how do you keep your checkbook to, you know properly and all that stuff and we also have what's called the Work Activity Center, which is an opportunity for them to do work and get paid for it so that they can have, a, you know, earn a check and contribute back to, back to the society as a whole. Uh, I'm extremely proud of our clients and employees of Abilities because uh, we have a 93% participation rate in the United Way campaign that we are contributing back to the United Way campaign for to help them uh, with the money that they provide for us. You're celebrating 60 years this year. That that's is a years. major milestone. And, and to think of all the clients that have come through there in 60 years. Oh, I it's it's hard for me to fathom all of the all of the families and all of the, the lives that we have touched over the past 60 years. And uh, personally, I have my own story with my family in that I have an aunt that was a client of Abilities Unlimited back in the 60s, back in the late 60s and early 70s. So uh, we, have, we have, have reached out and helped a lot of families and a lot of people in the, in the, five, in the five county area that we serve. And uh, I just hope that I can be, uh, you know, help the agency move even further and be looking for the next 60 years as to what we're going to be doing. How do how do you get clients? How, how are they how are they recommended or sent to your to your facility? A lot of the individuals that uh, have our uh, or receive our services come uh, come out of high school, mm -hmm. and we have a good working relationship with the local high schools, in which uh, we help provide information to families as they're trying to make the the you know the next life decision for their individual after their schooling is over. Uh, we get a lot of referrals from other from our families to other families, and and uh, it, it's uh, it's very rewarding when you when you meet somebody new and they say, well, yeah, but I, I was told that my daughter or my son really needs to come to your program mm -hmm. because they'll be able to do this and they'll be able to do that, and so that makes us feel really good when we know that we have that kind of community support out there. You mentioned the facility out on Kibler Road. You guys are going through yes. some some remodeling right now. Yes, yes, we have uh, we have uh, remodeled our building, and um, inside the building we have added a, uh, two additional training rooms. We have also are creating a recreational and exercise room. Uh, our work activity center received a major remodel and just looks wonderful. And one of the components of abilities is we also provide waiver services, which, it, which are services to individuals in their homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we now have an office specifically dedicated for those families so that they have a place to come and meet uh, with our staff or meet with uh, whether it's other state officials or something like that. They can all meet here, get their answers settled, Get, uh, get the services provided. And uh, we are extremely excited about the building. And we're hoping, got our fingers crossed, that we will be having a, a ribbon cutting on April the 1st, which will mark our 60th year of doing business in this area. So I'm assuming that there was a huge need for this renovation. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we, we had been in the building for 12 years. And as you can, as you can think, uh, your own house gets wear and tear on it, but try taking 65 different families and having them coming in and going out and, and all that stuff. And uh, one, of the, one of the areas that uh, is getting a major facelift is our uh, training kitchen, which uh, once it's finished, uh, we'll, be, it'll, it'll, we'll have more counter space. We'll have uh, uh, new updated appliances for the clients to cook on. And we're really, really, you know, are thrilled about 
about this new remodel. All right, I know you rely on a lot of volunteers. Um, what does it take to become a volunteer for Abilities Unlimited? All you have to do is uh, come by the facility and fill out a volunteer application. Uh, because of the individuals that we serve, there, there are such things as background checks, sure. and drug tests and stuff like that that, that we require. Uh, but uh, if, um, if you enjoy working with people, teaching things, if you're an artist and would like to teach somebody how to paint, we can set that up. Uh, if, if you, if you love to crochet or you love to knit and you think that you can teach somebody like me that has, you know, <laughs> two left hands to how to knit, we would, we would be, we would love to, for you to have the opportunity to meet our individuals. And it's those kind of new experiences that really add a lot to their lives. And, um, because a volunteer is willing to do it, you know, we can set that up and make it possible for our individuals to get new life experiences. And uh, I have to say, we're, we're super thrilled about the uh, United Way Day of Caring that's coming up. We've got some big projects that uh, we're just, we want people to come involved. Uh, the big one this year is, um, if, I, if I have this right, um, we are going to have a contest to see who can make the best tasting flavored ice cream or sundae? <laughs> and uh, I have to say from talking to the United Way staff that uh, that that particular project, the volunteers filled up real fast. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. People definitely want to want to participate with that. And to be a judge, I would assume, too. Oh, a judge, yeah. A judge, you might want to be somebody that's been on a fast for a couple of months yeah. or something. <laughs> Uh, talk about the United Way and, and the relationship that you have with United Way. Uh, as far as I know, we've been with the United Way for many, many, many years. And what the United Way does for Abilities Unlimited is it provides a source of matching dollars for either federal or state grants that we apply for and uh, receive. And one of the one of the big components that the United Way has done for us is they've provided several matching grants for uh, transit vans that we use to transport our clients from their home to here. Um, it's, uh, it's extremely important to provide that transportation because a lot of them don't have their own cars and don't have their, a way to get here. And when you're talking about a vehicle that has a tag, uh, you know, a sales tax, tag of $42,000 to $45,000, when you can get that for 20% through a matching grant, right. uh, the United Way really makes it, makes it impossible for us to do that and provide good, safe, sound transportation for the individuals that we serve. All right. Uh, I know you have a Facebook page. If you just go to Facebook and look up or, or type in Abilities Unlimited, you can find mm -hmm. out pretty much everything you ever want to know about the agency. Yes, uh, we also have our webpage is auifs.org. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, updates and important information there. Um, if, you, if you've been watching our Facebook page, you, you've seen some things that are a little bit unusual. Uh, one of the things we, we recently had our parking lot paved. I saw year, that. And we got a grant to actually extend the parking lot and put a fitness track on it. We have, uh, the clients now have uh, three oval lanes that they can walk. And we have uh, two of our young uh, clients who are going to the USA Special Olympic Games in Orlando have been working on their track skills. And uh, the other day I saw one of them and I said, so how many laps have you done? I've done 15. <laughs> so, and I, I, but I'll have to say I haven't completed one complete cycle yet, but I'm working on it. I was going to say it's 14 more than probably I could do. Probably. That's for sure. All right, Bill Lloyd, thank you so much from Abilities Unlimited for being here today. Uh, it sounds like a terrific program and we'll look forward to April 1st, by the way. Oh, yeah, we're very thrilled. Hope to see you here.